Hey freaks and weirdos, welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming at you today with a haul. It's uh, charity shop finds plus I had a little trip to Poundland. Today's outfit, silver and black eyeshadow, my silver glittery lips, two usual rings, this little necklace, this hoodie you saw in a previous haul and these um, trousers you saw in a previous haul and then I'm wearing my um, little black boots. That's my outfit of the day. I'm drinking a skinny latte. So yes, first thing in my first part of the haul is this little beanie. It's black and grey. How cute is this? Uh, stripes. It has like a fleece inside. It's by um, Trespass. This shoe, guys, was only a pound, giving me very Y2K Molgoff vibes. And then also off the pen rail, I picked up this really, really soft, fleecy um, hoodie. It, it's like a cropped one, and it's really comfortable. Uh, you guys, this was on the sale rail for an absolute bargain. It was one pound. How could I not say no to this for a pound? We love a pound bargain. So yeah, we got that. And then also keeping in the fluffy theme, we got this fluffy bag. You can attach um, a strap to it. It's a grey and black fox fur. So it's fake. It has like a double zipper, polka dot inside. You guys, this was only one pound. We needed it, absolutely. And then I got this headband, which has blonde bangs. This, you guys, was a pound. And it also has a clip, so I might just take the bangs off the headband to give myself some blonde. But, uh, you guys, you know, that look is so 80s. They were all out back then, weren't they? Madonna, Sharon Stone. What do you guys think? Totes amaze. That looks absolutely amazing, even with my dark hair. It looks gorgeous. It's giving me like um, emo vibes. But yeah, we got that. Let me just have some more of my coffee, you guys. I've been on and off all day. Um, been on a few buzzes. Excuse the mess because I'm rearranging. And I picked up these gorgeous bag of flowers. There's black ones and white ones in this bag. I am going to keep them in this bag. I'm just going to put a bit of bubble wrap in the bottom to lift the flowers up a bit taller. So I think this looks very artistic the way it is in the bag. Thumbnail. So yeah, I picked those up. Um, which I thought was kind of cute. My colours too. And then carrying on with the charity shop, we found this. Can you guess what it is? We all have one. Okay, you've got three seconds to guess. Okay, did you guess correctly? It's a white skull. How cute is this? Now, this was reduced. It should have been 4 50 but I got it for three pounds. And it's white. It looks gorgeous. I might glue some black roses on its head, maybe. Not too sure yet. But um, we'll see when we get there. So I'll just rearrange and rearrange. And then I found this cute little picture frame with a wobbly head. Um, but yeah, so that was 99p. How cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there, but I just thought it was cute. Goes to my aesthetic because I like black, whites, grey, silvers and glitter. And a lot of mirrors. You wouldn't think it would, Jeff, for being a vampire. And then I found this cute Christmas tree ornament. And uh, you guys, how cute is this? It's like a little black and silver chandelier. That would look nice in my spooky goth doll's house. It was 95p, but yeah, I'm collecting bits because I put them on my Christmas tree or Halloween tree, but yeah, we needed that. And I found this real leather purse by Jupe. It has all these different sections, um, but yeah. So we needed this. A coin thing on the back. Now this is should have been four fifty. It was reduced to two ninety five, and it is dupe leather purse, which I thought was absolutely amazing for the price. And then 
I found some gothy. Oh, bear with. Oh, tangle them. Little gothy earrings. How cute are these? Uh, with the little the black chains, black metal with a little gem. Um, but yeah, these were one ninety nine. I thought, yes, I need those in my life. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them as these or turn them into, uh, take these hooks off and then sew them onto the lapels of a leather jacket. I'm not too sure yet. Watch this space. Now I found this cute little bag. It was three pounds and it has um, bear with a necklace. And the star is actually glass, it's crystal. This is the necklace, how cute is that? And it also came with a pair of earrings that match and they have like big hooks so they can go through my um, tunnel. But I might just keep the stars and add black accessories on them and do the same with the necklace. But the necklace I might just turn into a little sun catcher for the window and do something with the earrings. But yeah, they came all in a cute little bag for three pounds. I could not get, could not leave that for three pounds, you guys. Um, and then I found in this little bag, for one pound 50, this cute little Diamante, it's black Diamante. So like 2K Paris Silton, you know, Mary Kate Nashley. It has a blinged heart on it. It's a little choker. How cute, we all love a little choker. Do you like to be choked? Especially with a Y2K little gem like this. Absolutely, darlings. And then I found, had something like this years ago. This very whimsy goth hippie cross. You guys know, I'm not religious any way, shape or form. But I do like to collect crosses. So this is giving me Eddie from Absolute Fabulous Season 2 when uh, Patina, a uh, minimalist friend, comes to stay. La Croix, baby stick. La Croix, baby stick. So yes, this was £1. And then Whimsy Guff, I found this little wooden mirror. It's a smaller version of the ones that I have in the kitchen. This was £1.50. How tiny is this? Do you know what I mean? It's so cute. I just love it. Had to have it for £1.50. And then to with my aesthetic in my living room, because you know my colours, I found these little baby books, which I'm just going to prop about, because they're black and white ones. These were 50p. They were about to put them out. And the pictures are all black and white, and so are these ones. So, yeah, just they're going to be like little coffee table books. That sounds weird, but I think they would look nice. They match my aesthetic right now. 50p each. Just had to have them. So yeah, and then carrying on with the charity shop, these are Burberry of London bags, and guess what's in them? Yes, it's Easter related. I found a pair of little Easter bunnies. How cute, you put candles on them. So I found a pair of those. And they put them in those gorgeous little bags, which I'm going to use to make little friend bags with. I'm not going to, you know. So these are going to, probably going to go on the fire surrounding for Easter. How cute for one pound each. Yes, your girl had to have them. And then I found a deck of tarot cards. These, you guys, were three pounds. So yeah, your girl's a witch. Love my tarot cards. Because I am the living dead. And then I found this boot. It's a one litre welly. Um, so it holds a litre of drink. But I'm going to keep it as a vase. This shoe, guys, was pound fifty. We love it. My sister spotted this and I decided to have it. And then I found this Stranger Things dead stock poster for 50p. I'm going to open it with you guys. This is probably going to go down there depending on what's on it. If not, it's going to, because the door's to the steep hallway. So either way, it's going to go on one of the doors through there, if not on this one. Um, but yes, let's have a look. So this is the poster. 
Stranger Things for 50p. You just have to have it. And yeah, we're going to um, put it on one of the doors. If you guys know, we love a poster. It's like my teenage life all over again because posters are so easy to put up and take down. But if I really love something like I love that Cold Chamber one, which is the original 99 or 2000 poster from Kerrang! magazine, I bought that 11 years ago off an eBay seller and I found the frame in the charity shop and framed it. So yes, you guys know if I love something, I love it. And then I found this cute little picture. I love it. It reminds me, my favourite smell is um, smoke on leather in the cold. So this is giving me that vibes. It was only a pound, so yeah, that's going to go somewhere. And out of Malcheap and Street, Bernardo's, we are in 2024. I picked up At Home with the Braithwaite Season 1 for £2.50. Um, someone paid $39.99 for it. And 2024, inside, there is a receipt from said Bernardo's in Malcheapman Street. Exact same shop I bought it from. Someone bought it in 2014 for 99p. So a decade later, it got redonated to exact same charity shop. So isn't that, you know, you know, totes amazed? Because 10 years later, it came back to the same charity shop and it was meant to be for me. Look at that. Someone only paid 99p for it to start with. I paid 250 but I have watched them. It's about a lottery win if you haven't watched it. There's four seasons they were shown on BBC One. And then for £2.50... I had this whole stack of CSI. Um, I do like the character Greg. So this is um, part one of season one, which I have sat and watched. This is part two of season two, which I have sat and watched. This is part one of season three, which I've watched. Part two of season three, which I've watched. Part two of season four, which I've watched. And I'm in the middle of watching part one of season five. And I also got part two of season five to watch. And I've got the complete set of part um, six. This is the complete season six and it's new and sealed. My sister found these because we were both looking at the DVDs. So yeah, I had all those for £2.50. Weren't they great? So now on to um, Poundland. I needed a new bath mat for the bathroom. So this one was reduced from... £5 down to £2.50. Um, but yes, as you can see, it's a fluffy bath mat. Nothing too exciting, but we needed it. And then I found a black and white tray, my aesthetic for the kitchen. Um, this one was £1.25. And then I found a round washing up bowl. As you guys know, I have a lot of bowls because I use a lot of bowls for different things. There's one for cleaning the kitchen, one for washing up, one for doing the floors, one for doing the bathroom. One for doing the skirting boards, door frames and that. So I have quite a few washing up bowls for different things and different colours. So I found, I thought this was amazing because we needed it. And then I found a press powder, the lightest colour I could for a pound. I've had this years ago. It's it's not bad. It's really nice. And yeah, so now um, for later on's tea, I picked up a big piece pizza. For snacks and Welsh, um, Welsh sausage rolls, a little bottle of pop, and I picked up two of my nephews. I've started getting Easter eggs. So this Paw Patrol one is for Teethy, and this little Milky Bar one is for Diamond. And um, you know, I'm just starting to pick them up now. I only tried to get them a week beforehand because I don't really. We still got like two weeks for um, Easter. So yeah, so that was basically it. That was my little haul. Hope you guys are staying safe. And if you haven't, please like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, take care of you. Big kisses for you all. Stay spooky, stay weird, stay fabulous. Always be yourself because there's only one of you babes. And yeah, till next time, TTFN. Bye.